Hello and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Kasim Rafi. I am the customer support representative here for the iTrack 365 team. Today's topic will be portal navigation in regards to the training module as a part of a bigger four part series that will happen over the next two months. In today's session we'll talk about how to add training, how to complete training tasks, how to view historical training, and if there's any QA, we will uh, leave room for that as well. And in the future series, we'll talk about how to add training from the dynamic side and really try to grasp every aspect of the training module. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that I'll show you is that first part of it, which is um, how to add training. So the first thing you want to want to do is log into your iTrack portal and it will automatically start you off in the dashboard page. And this is where you can see your outstanding form tasks, your outstanding inspections, your outstanding training and so on. But we'll get into this at the end of the webinar. What you're going to want to navigate down to is the personal page on the bottom. Where my mouse is highlighted and left click. Once that's ready, you'll see some personal info about yourself. Your name will be on top and you can then see if you hover over activities, all of the actions that have been assigned to you and which training task is um, assigned to you as well. And the next thing we'll look at is actually training and that's going to be all the training, whether approved, not approved, um, assigned to you as well. So as part of the first part of the webinar, we will begin with adding training um, off will. So once we navigate to this training subheader up here, we notice that this little plus sign on the right hand side is now open. We can actually hit the plus sign. From there, we can select the course. So for today's example, we'll talk about Linus. We can say which institution, which or which account kind of gave us that um, or taught us that course. We can say we completed it on, let's say the 1st of June and it recertifies, we'll say in a year. If there's any certificate numbers or any comments, you know, the teacher performed the session excellently. You can fill all of that stuff in there. If there's any attachments like a certificate picture or any of those licenses you wanna show, you can add them as well. And then we'll hit save and close. So once that's finished, you can see on the right hand side that the training is here. All of our data is still there and if you want to edit it, we can actually open up the WMIS course here and we can edit what we want to. And status is unapproved. Now what we can do for some clients and some clients don't do this is once an operator actually hits the plus sign and fills out what I just filled out, the status will have an automatic approval. Whereas some other clients, what they will do is they will um, actually have a training admin go in through all their clients whenever a new training is completed and actually approve what was submitted to make sure that everything is up to date and up to and, uh, on par with some of the standards there. So just as a quick recap of how to add a training, you'll go into iTrack portal, down to personal, into training, hit the plus sign, and then add all your information there. The next step I'm going to show you is actually how to complete a training task. Now a training task is an action that was assigned to you um, through a training record. So as an example, I'll open up this training task test. And what it does, and these can be based off of job roles, so every operator has to do a couple courses. And what it does is once the action is assigned to you, you'll open up the action, just like I did by going into activities, going into training, the training task test, whatever the subject's called. And then you can actually hit Acknowledge right exam on the bottom here. Now, some of them are going to be exams. Some of them might be videos you have to watch and acknowledgements you have to do. So this is acknowledge review of material. I have reviewed the assigned material and understand the contents. I'll hit yes and I'll hit finish. And if you fail, it'll tell you you failed. And what this will do, right? As you can see, the course here is Alberta class one operator's license. If I hit open training record, you can see it told me when it's completed. You can see that the status has been unapproved, just like it was up here. And if you have to add comments or certificates, just like you did earlier, 
that's how that is done as well. So what we'll do is we'll hit X. And now on the top here, completed June 9th, which is today, that that Alberta class one operator's license has been completed. Yeah. The next thing we will do is we will go into the training section of the portal and we will be able to view the historical training. So you can kind of see here a lot of the data is still the same, but if you go into reports. From there, you can see any of if you have access to this, you can see some of your training summaries done here as well. But if you go back into the training, this lets you kind of see just a better idea, just like that other view was of kind of your active training. And if you actually open up this as well, you can say, you know, inactive training. And you should see your inactive training there as well. And if you go back down to personal. And then just as a way to see your historical training, just like I mentioned earlier, you will just open up this training subheader and this will be all of your approved or unapproved training records. So today we went over how to add training by navigating to training, the plus sign adding the training. We showed how to close off training tasks by going to activities finding the training task and hitting train task there. And we have also found how to view your historical training by navigating to training and viewing the view here. The last thing I'll kind of show you and something that you can um, understand is in the dashboard page. If you go back to the top left. What you will actually see is this little outstanding training header here, and that's where the um, that test training task for the Alberta safety course would exist. So instead of going through personal, you could go on this dashboard page and close off any of your training tasks like you can close off any of your actions up top here. And then in future webinars, we will go over from the admin side on how to close off a lot of these. Um, a lot of these unapproved training tasks like you see here whether it's by a reporting team or whoever reviews the the um, the training altogether or whoever that reports to is of the manager will kind of showcase how to look into the company page and the team page and how to close off people's training records. Since there are no questions in the chat, I think we'll call it here. Thank you for attending today's webinar. And if you have any further questions, please reach out to support at itrack365.com. And I hope to see you guys in two weeks. Thank you.